This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Marina. Welcome back to Marina Automation Labs. So guys, today onwards, I'm going to start one basic series on Karate Framework, which is like quite uh, popular these days in the market. And uh, I thought of creating a couple of videos on Karate Framework for uh, API point of view. So this uh, API, uh, this particular Karate framework is provided by Intuit. Intuit is a company and they are, I think, into financial domain and their QA team, they have developed uh, one framework that is for uh, Karate. The name is Karate, it's saying for web services, testing made simple. And it's open source, freely available. Okay, their APIs are freely available in the market and uh, they have given a lot of features in the form of uh, BDD style, in the form of behavioral driven development uh, syntax. And internally, they are using Cucumber, Jerkin as a natural uh, you know, uh, language. And on top of HTTP API, they are writing the code. And uh, you can, they give a lot of keywords, a uh, lot of good options. You directly need to create the feature file, and that's it. So you don't need to write any single line of code over here. So if you having the fear of that, okay, hey, I don't want to write the code. And uh, if you having the fear of programming, you guys can directly start working on Karate. And uh, this guy will take care of most of the things. If you know the syntax, if you know the uh, how to create the feature files and everything, easily you can work with. So this is github.com for Karate. It's provided by Intuit. You can see that it's under Intuit license. And uh, uh, this is the all the git repository master code is available and this is the proper documentation the documentation is also amazingly good these guys they have uh, given for that so what you need to do that you just need to add these two dependencies in your uh, maven form.xml file and then you are uh, good to go that okay so initially today i just give you the basic idea how to hit basic api how to create the feature file and everything and then uh, we will see how can we do that so here you just need to remember one thing guys that uh, when you work with karate framework so if you remember in cucumber framework what we have to do in cucumber first we have to create the feature file so this is my feature file let's see right this is my feature file under this feature file we will write the bdd jerk in keywords like given when then and all those things and then we will convert this particular feature file into step definition file where we will write the respective java code over here Right, that respective Java code, the step definition file. This is called, let's see, SD. And once the step definition file is there, then we will create one runner file. Right, that is called my test runner file. In this particular test runner file, I'll give, I'll provide the feature of all these, okay, feature, uh, the path of feature file over here, the step definition file, the glue, right, and uh, the what kind of format, what kind of reporting and all those things I'll be providing over here in the runner class. So this is a typical BDD Cucumber strategy, right? Whenever we have to write the code, we have to create the feature file. You can create n number of feature files like this, and then you can create the respective step definition file. So this is a Cucumber, okay? This is Cucumber feature file, right? Cucumber BDD framework. But in Karate framework, guys, in Karate, what we have to do in Karate, we don't need this guy. So we directly write feature file. That's it. You write multiple features. You can create multiple feature file like this. Okay. You should know how to write the basic feature file given when then according to the karate uh, syntax. And uh, you just need to give the, you just need to create one runner class. That's it. That's it. No other third party component, no other, I mean, sorry, no other, a step definition component and that's it you don't need to create any single java code because the java code we will write it over here right this is a java code here so here we don't need any java code now so it means you are actually ignoring programming you are not writing any single line of code automatically this runner uh, will read all these feature file and the respective uh, feature file step definition file generated internally and the respective code will be executed and your APIs will get hit and then, okay? And then simple, it will generate the report on top of that. But 
it will work on top of j unit guys so remember this thing we have to use j unit for that right so we will be using the combination of uh, karate j unit and karate api we will be using it so if you see that's why they have given that okay you have to use karate apache and they have their own karate j unit version also so these two apis we have to add it in our project and then we are good to go with that okay so let's do let me erase this particular diagram and let's see so what i'm going to do guys first i'm going to create one project simple maven project and uh, let's quickly create a project my project name is uh, let's say give some name and remember karate is only and only for web services for your api testing so let's see i'm giving some other name let's see karate uh, karate series giving the same artifact id also and click on finish and here you will see that okay karate series got created i'll quickly open my pomlet xml file and uh, i simple add my dependency so whatever the junit dependency which is already available i don't need this so you simply remove this and uh, simple add these two dependencies in your project in your pomlet xml file okay press control shift f and press control s so the moment you press control s your dependency will be added over here you can see that maven dependency is got added over here right and then right now it's pointing to jdk 1.5 so i'll make it to jdk 1.8 so we'll go to properties java build path and i update it to java 1.8 apply and okay that's it okay so i don't need this example now I'll just close it and go to src des java so these things i don't need you simple so remove all these uh, dummy packages and okay classes from src main also remove it okay now what exactly you will do that under src uh, test java i'm going to create any okay i'm going to create one class or uh, yeah so first i'll create one class that will be my runner class so your runner class guys you can give any name so let's see i'm giving something uh, let's see api test runner class okay and you just need to click on finish here you don't need to write anything over here i'll do one thing i'll create a package also and uh, under that particular package i'll create this particular class so let's see my package name is uh, feature package and i'll do one thing this runner i'll move it over here okay and let me delete this so under this particular feature package my api runner dot java class got created and you just need to write simple one thing over here at the rate run with bracket okay you simple write karate dot class okay you just need to import this at the rate run with and uh, you need to import at the rate i mean this particular karate also it's coming from intuit karate whatever dependency that we have added that's it here you don't need to write anything inside the inside your class body nothing that's it okay so let it be like this now as i told you we just need to create the feature file so let's see right click on it and uh, let's create a simple simple file so my file name is simple let's see you can give any file name let's see by according to your api so let's see first api i'm going to cover let's see country dot feature i have an api i'll show you country dot feature okay so this is the example i'll take it for basic api so you can see that okay this is the uh, different country endpoint urls are available over here and you can see that see <clears throat> if you want to fetch all the country details with this particular rest api this is a get call right so you just copy it and you hit it in your postman let's see i'm hitting in your postman over here and you send it you will get the response as all the countries over here can you see that it's a huge response json response we are getting right whatever different countries are available in the world all those countries let's see for afghanistan we are getting something okay capital is kabul region is asia something like this okay same thing for other countries we will be getting like this okay so 
I will hit this particular API and let's see what kind of response we are getting through Karate Framework. So how will you write it? So for writing guys, first thing you need to write simple a feature. So feature is a keyword to define that what kind of feature it is. So let's say I'm writing this particular feature that uh, check, uh, uh, let's see, check return countries by API. Let's see, this is my feature, right? And then what is your background? So I simply write my background is, okay, this is a keyword. What is your background? So I have to create a background now. So for background, I need two things. The first thing is the URL, right? I need to pass the URL because ultimately I need this particular URL, right? So in URL, we just need to pass guys the domain URL. This is my domain URL up to countries.eu. So how will you define the URL? Right, so this is the URL, simple write asterisk, okay? And then simple write URL. So this is a keyword base. And here you need to write in single quote, this is the URL. After that, do you want to pass any header? So let's see, I want to pass one header. <clears throat> let's see, although you don't need it, if you really want to pass any header, you simply write asterisk header. And I want to accept, let's see my header is equal to uh, application JSON. Okay, application JSON like this. So this is the background I have set. And then after the background, you have to write scenario. So I'll write simple scenario. My scenario, what is the scenario name? So my scenario name is, let's see, get uh, a list of all countries. Okay, this is my scenario. And in this particular scenario, here you have to write all given when then scenario. So let's see my given what? Given is the path, right? What is your path? So after this, I have this particular path. See, this is a path. So that was the URL and this is my path that rest to be to all. So this is my path in single row. Right, so when what? Given this is a path, when what? When method, what kind of HTTP method? This is my get method. So if it is post, you have to write post, put delete like this. So when method get, because this is a get call, see, this is a get call. So here we have to write it like this, when method get. And then what do you want? So let me write some, okay. And then, <clears throat> so make it W capital. Then what? Then T capital, then I want to check that my status, this is a verification, my status should be 200. See, I'm getting 200 over here. It means the successful API got hit, I'm getting the correct response like this. I mean, hit, I mean, API got hit successfully. That's why we are getting the status code as 200 like this. That's it. Later on, I'll tell you how to parse the JSON objects also and all those things. But here, let's see, I've created a very basic thing. So I'll repeat, first you create the feature, just like Cucumber feature file background, URL is this, right? And then my header, it accept application JSON. Or if you have any other header like uh, authentication or token ID or username password, you guys can write it. This is the key and this is a value. You can pass it like this. This is my scenario. Given when then, this is the path. Later on, I'll tell you parameters also, query parameter, path parameter also. So we can do that. Method is get call, status 200. That's it. Okay. Now you here, you don't need to give any entry and no need to create any step definition file. Okay, that you don't need to write any respective Java code for that, right? In Cucumber, we have to write the step definition that, okay, hey, this is at the rate given method, then at the rate when method, and the rate then method, and we have to write the respective Java code for that. But here, you don't need to write it. You simply go to your API test runner. This runner is, okay, will be executed with JUnit. So simple use run as JUnit test, and then you run it, let's see what happens. It's showing some error, it's saying mismatch. Just a second, feature tags. Okay, let me check. So country got features. So this, this is something we have to be a little careful. And uh, yeah, so let's run it again.
Let's see, can you see that? See, this my test case got passed. You can see country. This is the test case. And yeah, get list of all the country. This is my scenario. It got passed, and you can see the console. See, I should get see exact same thing. Afghanistan top level domain. You just copy this entire JSON. What is the JSON that we are getting? You just copy this, and uh, see. Let me select the entire JSON, and you open your any JSON editor. Let's see JSON lint. dot com, and uh, okay, you can validate your JSON as well. That okay, this is the right JSON or not? So let's see. Simple copy paste your JSON over here. Let me just copy it again. One second. It's a huge JSON, guys. That's why it's taking some time. Now you run it. Okay, paste it over here, and you validate. See, we are getting the exact huge JSON, the same JSON we were getting as a response in Postman also, right? So this is the Karate framework, guys. It's a huge response that we are getting, right? Like this. Now, let's create some other API. Let's see some more appropriate API. So let's see. I have another API that is. Um, I'll show you in my Postman. So I have an API that is uh, that is a get API once again. Uh, there is a site gores. co. in. Okay, and uh, this is this these guys they provide the API <clears throat> and first name is equal to Navi. It means you give me all the users having first name is equal to Navi, and you if you hit this particular API, the first name is equal to Navi. It's saying there are no Navi's are available, so result is zero. So let's see. I pass the first name is equal to John, right? And then you run it. Here you are getting that. Okay, yes, we are getting total count four and four uh, data. We are getting. Let's see. First name Johnson. Second guy is Jonathan, and third guy is Johnny, and another guy is Johnson. Something like this we are getting. So four users we are getting like this, right? So how will you hit the API? But here to hit the API we have to pass this particular authorization. So you can create your own authorization token, guys, on this particular site. And here you have to pass your authorization token with bearer token like this. Then only you will be hit this particular API. So I have already created. You can go to uh, gores.co.in, okay? And they have uh, given some basic documentation also. If you go to this particular site, gores.co.in, here you just need to create the account over there, and they have given the sample APIs over here. You guys can hit the API. Okay, so let's say I'm gonna hit this particular API, public API user question mark name equal to Johnson. List all the users with name contains John. Right. So how do you write the feature file for this? And uh, let's write it. So what I'll do? One second. Uh, I'll go to my project. Under this particular project. One second. It's not opening. Just a second, please. Let me open the. Okay, one second. It's uh, just because of this huge string, right? My clips got stuck. Let me clear this. Remove this. I'll let me open the project explorer. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna create one more feature. Let's see. This time I'm gonna create a separate feature file that is a user dot feature. So this is a user API. So user dot feature I have created. Now what is the feature? My feature is like this feature colon space. Let's see. Uh, check. Uh, uh, check. Uh, return users by the API. Okay, check return users by the API. Okay, now I'm gonna create the background. So my background is something like this. Background. Okay. Colon, and I have to pass the URL. So what is my URL? So my URL is. See guys, when you start writing this right feature file a couple of times, two or three feature files automatically you will remember the syntax. It's that so easy. 
So let's see, this is my URL that, uh, okay, dot in. So this is my URL. Do you have any header? So I do one thing, something like this URL. And do you have any header? Yes, star header. What is, your, what is your header name? My header name is this authorization. So this is my header name. What is the header value is equal to, you have to pass your header value in single quote. So let's see, this is the entire header uh, value I'll pass over here. Right, so I got my header, my background is ready, and then I have to create my scenario. So scenario, what is my scenario? So let's see, list all the users having name with John. Something like this, what is the scenario? You can write it. And here I simply write given. What is the given? Given the rest of the path. The given path is what? My path is this. After the domain, that is the path, that public API. Okay, is up to users. Okay, so this is the public API users. And what? Then we have some parameter also. Right now we have one question parameter. See, this is called query parameter. I want to query with first name equal to John. So in feature file, you don't need to write any question mark. You can simply write parameter first name is equal to John like this. So this is this will work like a parameter. So let's see parameter first name is equal to John. You can add multiple parameter also that I'll tell you later. Okay, so this is my parameter. Once your parameter is ready, what do you want? So once your parameter is ready, then I have to write my when method is what? Method is get. Then what do you want? Then my status okay should be 200. My status should be 200. That's it. So this is the another feature file I have created with this particular API. So I'll repeat. First, I have created the URL, header, authorization, scenario, and then given when then I have written like this. That's it. You don't need to do anything. You just need to execute your runner class once again. It will automatically pick both the feature files and one by one, both the feature files will be executed. So let's see and let's run it. So let's see what happens. Oops, something got disturbed for the first user. Something is there. Let's see what is the problem. So it's saying that uh, for country, it got passed. But for uh, it's saying list all the users, some exception step definition method. Uh, no step definition method found for param. So let me go to this user feature uh, and parameter first name is equal to John. Oh, 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 see, this is a mistake. We don't need this. We have to write like this john is a value right and this is a parameter name so this is a parameter key actually so for key we don't need to pass okay the single quote so now let's run it again so let's run your feature once again see the user is perfectly fine now see can you see that absolutely fine now you can see the user is over here okay see it got executed because the console is so big, the console output is so big that it is actually skipping. Uh, it is actually uh, uh, overridden, okay, with the country API response. I'll do one thing. If you really want to hit uh, only user, let me comment all these things. We don't need this. So you just simply do one thing. Let me cross it, okay? Let me delete it. There is no country dot feature. Or I'll do one thing, one second. Uh, just let it be like this. I move this particular country dot feature to this particular SRC main Java, okay? And then you run it, let's see. Right click on it. We want to see that for user API, are we getting the right response or not? See the V. Okay, user API got executed perfectly. List all the users having name with John, and you see the output over here. <clears throat> this is a console log. See, this is the API it got created. This is with the get call, so it will give you 
see this is the exact api url you can see that exact api url over here and uh, these are the headers authorization header and what else so this is the console log and we should get the response you can see the response over here exact same response we are getting in okay so i'll just paste it over here and i'll validate see, exact same response we were getting in postman also and same thing how many users four users the result is see first name johnson jonathan johnny and one more guy johnson right base. so four users we are getting over here with this particular api right so this is absolutely working fine now the question here is <clears throat> i'm verifying that okay the status is 200 what if i want to verify some basic response also so for response things guys how will you validate how will you assert other things they have provided a very good documentation you guys can refer it you simple go to let's see um, simple search for json array let's see one second see here they have given that okay how will you uh, you do one thing you go to top of that top of the page and here they have given the assertions okay just click on this assertion part and it takes some time to open it so you know just a second just go back and uh, one second see here they have given how will you validate so this is the complete index these guys they have given how to configure how to run and everything so let's see we want to see the response and uh, let's see one second assert i want to do some assertions and let's see some assertion you just check with a uh, lot of match contains and everything is there you just click on match contains here you can use all these assertions like this in this particular format you can match the header you can match the xml you can match the contains json keys and everything it's huge api guys see for json array also these guys they have given that okay how will you validate it and in fact this will be useful for our in our in our example because we are getting if you see we are getting actually an json array can you see that we are getting one result this is an array so this is the first result this is array second result comma separated this is the third and this is the fourth so in this particular result <coughs> array see this is a square bracket this is a result array can you see that result array we are having four attributes so how will you check it so let's see what i'll do you just need to write one reference okay one keyword and keyword and create one variable with def keyword def keyword and let's see i'm simple writing this is my uh, user response variable is equal to you simple write whatever the api response will be stored in this particular variable so you just give this variable to a user response now the entire response is captured in this particular user response now and then you simply do one thing that then what do you want and and then i'll be using their matcher apis they have already given a lot of examples over there you can simply write that okay then match this then match this and all those things so you can write it so let's see i simply write then match what match from user response like this you go to result because result is what result is see this is the result i'm getting and this is an array right so i have to write result and for array these guys say that okay result go to result star okay the dot first underscore name okay it means go to the first underscore name key this is the key and it should be johnson so let's see how you match it so it's same simple you write contains keyword okay contains guys these assertions you have to remember the syntax and everything so you have to practice a lot and simple let's see it should contain johnson so i just copy this johnson and uh, paste it over here okay so this is a kind of assertion i have written that from the response <coughs> store this particular response inside the user response a variable or you can directly use response also directly this response also you can directly use and go to the result array 
from result array, you go to the first name, and this first name should contain Johnson like this. Okay. So <clears throat> let's see it is working or not. So I'll execute this particular class once again. And let's see my assertion is also getting passed or not. See, my assertion is absolutely working fine. You can see that. Right, guys? So like this, you can create n number of feature files with the proper, uh, okay, proper keywords, proper uh, uh, feature file, background scenario, and make sure that, okay, see, till here, it will be very simple. Okay, guys. But after that, you really need to learn about their response, <clears throat> okay, response examples. They have really good, given all the examples properly over here, and you can read it, and then you can write it, right? So let's see, sometimes we have to add one more, let's say write with and operator. I want to find those guys, first name equal to Johnson and having active is equal to, <clears throat> or status is equal to active. I'm talking about this particular status. See, I'm talking about this status should be active. Okay, so status is equal to active. Status is equal to <clears throat> active. I hit this API. So I'm getting again four count. So let's say I'll make it give me all the name, all the user having his first name is like Johnson and the status is inactive. So for inactive user, I'm getting only one count. See, only one guy I'm getting. The Johnson, this Prosako, this guy is inactive. Okay, but here if you notice, I'm passing two parameters. First name is equal to John and <clears throat> The status is equal to inactive. So what we have to do here is we have to use a second parameter like this. So this is my first parameter. And here again, you have to write and parameter status is equal to inactive. I should get only one guy, right? So let's see, let's run it again. So I have added two parameters now. See, it is working fine. You can see that absolutely working fine. It's in green color. And you see there is API URL also in the console. See the exact URL. First name equal to John <coughs> M, right? And status equal to inactive. Right? We are passing the two parameters. In Postman also, you can see that's why we are getting the same response. And here you are getting the exact one single response you should get. Well, okay, everything got expected, 200. And you can see the page count total count is one and we should get the result like this i just copy this entire thing and uh, go to json lint copy this and validate you will see only one response the same johnson exactly same response you were getting in postman also right it means <clears throat> my code is absolutely working fine so like this guys this is like uh, quite simple no need to write any single okay program create your apis with the help of user features and create the feature files and that's it later on i'll tell you that okay how to pass uh, one parameter to the another api the output of the one api to the will work as the input of the second api those things so these are the very basic examples i have covered today later on i'll tell you how to do a post call how to pass a json payload authentications and all those things how to pass it <clears throat> okay so i hope you really like this video if you really like it guys please uh, practice it once again let me know if you have any issues in the comment section and uh, please share with your other friends who are actually looking for api automation and backend automation and this is really quite good you can actually write in your resume as well okay so that's all for this particular uh, video guys thanks for watching and let me know if you have any issues